Why hello everyone and welcome back to Vertigo. We are picking straight up from where we left off. We are at the end of our fourth hypnosis session. As you can see I have done all of the analysis ready to go which we saw in the previous episode. So now it's just a case of ending the session and making head and tail of all the information we have just taken in. So we've learnt that Maddie, Ed's mother, was indeed seeing Sheriff Nick Reyes behind John's back and that Jenny, their newest addition to the family, was actually Nick's and not John's, which we kind of already suspected. <laughs> the royal we, of course. And of course, poor Ed was kind of the uh, the snitch. He found out and basically told his dad. So, uh, yes, which ultimately caused a snowball effect, uh, resulting in John killing Maddie and Jenny. So now it's just a case of telling Ed all of this and seeing the cracks fall to pieces. What? It can't be that bad. So, you are going to tell me now, right? You've been repressing and twisting your own memories since... Forever. <laughs> A long damn time. Your father was not the person you remember. At some point... Um, when you were little. He became obsessed. He got lost. He started drinking. Oh dear. That's the... That's the look of someone who's hearing the penny drop. So as you can see, the use of somewhat attempts at technicolor as a representation of all the emotions that are probably rushing through his mind right now. Just basically recapping what we already know, but obviously we're seeing it from Ed's perspective. And it's all flooding back to him in one fell swoop. Which is probably going to tip him mentally over the edge, no pun intended. glass is going to shatter. But why did I do it? Jenny. Plenty of older brothers feel jealous of their siblings. It's normal. It would have passed. It was all my fault. No, it wasn't. The picture. If I hadn't... The same thing would have happened. Sooner or later, your dad would have found out. And instead of an accident, it would have been a slap 
or a beating, or a push, or a knife. And what good does knowing do me? You've been carrying that guilt for years, building a prison of fake memories just to hide it from yourself, from everyone. And it's been gnawing at you, but you need to let it go. You can do it, Ed. Stand up. Walk tall. Get over it. Or not. Oh well. Kudos for trying. But why is he heading for the open window? <laughs> oh, Ed, don't do it. Oh, I didn't quite master that one, did I? Try again. Oh, crumbs. Why would it be left twice? That doesn't make much sense. Right. Come on, Ed. We can do this. Teamwork makes the dream work. I'm not too keen on him wandering over to the open window. <laughs> I mean, not to dampen his spirits, but he could have screamed from the bed. Judy is probably feeling really pleased with herself. That's quite a breakthrough she's had today. Okay, let's oh, <laughs> let's check not the messages. Today. Is it Lou? We've been ghosting him long enough, Julia. Maybe we should give him a ring. <sighs> let's reply. Come on, let's just <laughs> Do I know you? <laughs> Clearly it's Lou. We are off duty now, so. <laughs> oh, Ed, you're the most loyal person I've ever met. Doctor, it's Sheriff Reyes. Why is Ed loyal? What what makes us say that? <laughs> Doctor, sorry to bother you this late, but... It is late. Uh, you could have given me a heads up. A heads up would have been nice, you know. <laughs> I sent you a few messages on the way, but... Ah, it was you. Let's apologize for that. I'm sorry. Islay, I know. We were looking for Esther Franklin until just now. Did you find anything? There's still hope. I'm, I'm sorry about this morning. And you know, I don't want to put your career on the line, but... Okay, okay, so we're Reyes again now. So we're switching people back and forth. Okay, so our options are, I'd like you to know what I found out about Miller. Let's help each other find out the truth about Miller. And I have to find Esther Franklin. <sighs> the priority here is to find Esther. I think if we went for that center option, let's help each other. She may think it's just a backwards attempt of him getting what he wants. It might not come across as sincere. Him offering information might also seem like it's being used as bait. So 
I'm gonna go with the bomb I've got option. to exhaust all my options to get to Esther Franklin. There's a really pretty lookout near here. We could discuss this. Oh, I really do hope that they don't try killing each other. Because, let's be honest, that's where a lot of this has I'm been going lately. You, it's bad news. The gun, the bottle, his connection to the Franklins, the whole implausible story about the... <clears throat> uh, help her. Be a gentleman. And accept. Be gracious. <clears throat> Like I was saying, there are too many signs, huh? I'm not saying he's guilty, it's just... It's hard to see it any other way. But then Don't again, you think, Doctor? there's one just like it in my favorite movie. What if Reyes has got something to hide? I didn't consider that until now. I can't say I'm a movie buff myself. Well, let's check the convince Sheriff Reyes that Ed is innocent. So we are technically playing as Lomas at the moment. Do I have to just pick a random one? And to get the width of the tree and the time of various events took place. I think we should go for the moon landing. Oh, it's not going to let us pick the moon landing. Okay. Let's go with Pearl Harbor. Yeah, surely they both love Pearl Harbor. It's incredible to think that the tree was already 1,000 years old here. That it died here. And that we've only been here about this much. I was born about here. You? About the same. <laughs> okay, so now it's only gonna let me pick the Cold War option. So let's go with that. Here, no, a year later, I was at a protest march. The police charged us. I fell. Uh, L.A., right? Did they crush you? Three knee operations. What were you doing at the time? I don't know. Patrol during the day to make a buck. Study at night to be a sheriff. Okay, I suppose we'll pick the 9-11 option. See what, what were they doing on the day of? What were you doing that day? Do you remember? Sure. I woke up at 6.30, like I do every day. Turn on the radio while I shaved, and uh, the second plane had just hit. I remember looking in the mirror, not recognizing myself, not my face, my hands, my bathroom. None of it. I took care of people with similar symptoms during those weeks. And then 2016. The final option. <laughs> I became sheriff. Congratulations. I had no idea what I was getting myself into. 2016. All right. I didn't know what I was getting myself into either. <laughs> Did you become sheriff too? <laughs> <laughs> I fell in love. Ah, damn. Of course. Sorry. I have to insist. I know Miller is hiding something. He's lying. To lie, you have to be aware that you're lying. Nice one. But Miller knows exactly what he's doing. He only has trouble remembering certain things. Things that you do remember. I, I, I don't understand. Oh, uh, I mean, there's, we might as well just square up because we know exactly. Um, we won't accuse him of being impartial because 
while there is probably an ounce of truth in that, I don't really think that's going to be a good way to uh, get him to understand how this is all working. And I don't think accusing him of hiding anything is going to be particularly productive. Let's just go straight Tell me it. about Maddie Miller, please. I, 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 excuse me? About your relationship with her. In the early 90s, you did a little more than just work and study to be sheriff. She's got you there, buddy. Don't go near the edge. I'm concerned. Someone's playing double agent. I think it's Reyes. Well, I don't really think it. I'm hoping that it's not. I think... We'll go with the I never told anybody. I never told anybody. Um, let's go with the painful bit. Is it so painful after all this time? Time doesn't heal a damn thing, you know? There are things that only heal with a little air. We were inseparable as kids. I spent more time at her house, the one you've been to, than my own. In high school, <laughs> everyone thought we were dating. <laughs> then she went to school in San Francisco. We'd meet up some weekends. Until one summer, she came back arm in arm with John Miller. We didn't see each other for years. It would have been five or six when we ran into each other and uh, started meeting. A coffee, a walk, dinner, a motel. Later, pregnant with Jenny, she distanced herself from me. I thought the girl had helped her marriage, that she was happy. Oh, clearly you were looking through it all with a pair of rose-tinted glasses, Nick. Fucking happiness. She's a beautiful girl. Isn't she? Beautiful and a bottomless pit. You'd gobble your mummy right up, wouldn't you? What a cute little Thanks outfit. for coming after all this time. How have you been? Um, oh, we won't go for that bottom option. Let's just say we missed her. I've really missed you. I'm sorry. I didn't want Jenny to grow up in a broken home. Or Eddie. I understood back then. And I still do. You owe it to your kids. I felt guilty. John deserved a chance. Mm, I suppose... I thought the baby... You can see it from her perspective, sure. Is he still drinking? He's burying me alive. What did he do? If he touched a single hair. I mean, you are quite literally within your right to arrest him. Um, there we go. Report him. Report him. And I'll make sure you get a restraining order. I'm going to leave him. I, I'm going to tell him next week. Uh, yeah, don't tell him. Don't tell him anything. Get the kids, pack your bags, 
Leave a note and go. I have to tell him. I can't just... Just take his son away from him without at least... Jenny is yours. Take her. He by it's a very difficult situation. Oh, hey yo. Let's have a look at them big blue eyes. See? She has your eyes. And he doesn't suspect anything? Since the very beginning. Yeah, he might be drunk, but he's not stupid. She's got something in her hand. Oh, get it, will you? Gently. I don't know. A baby's grip is impenetrable. Once they've got a hold of something, they will not let go. Oh, Eddie. He leaves stuff everywhere. How do you know she's not... John's? You've never tried to sleep with someone after you've downed a bottle of whiskey, have you? <laughs> well... What am I saying? You're ready for water after half a beer. Come with me. The three of you. Let's take it slowly. Oh, Maddie, you silly woman. I can't risk custody. That was the last time I saw them alive. Was it you who found them? I wanted to kill that son of a bitch, but he took that away from me too. Well, well, it's a slippery slope. We won't go down that route. Let's just drink a bit more. <laughs> Is that Bristol cream? <clears throat> oh, I really don't want to... Well, I suppose we know he's not going to use it, but I'd rather not even toy with the idea. That's how he got his scar. Oh my. Oh no. No, Nick. Stop, stop, stop. Don't make me pull the button. Nick, no. Oh, I don't want to be the one that does it. Oh, I have to. Okay. What went through your mind in that moment? Why did you move it away? I'm guessing he was just too drunk to keep it still, but that would seem far too obvious. Hmm, that's something I could only tell my psychiatrist. Thanks. Now, do you understand? John Miller was dangerous. His son is too. The same look in his eye. I'm worried about you. Uh, let's see. I'm not dead. Look in his eyes. I'm not dead. I can take care of myself. Um. 
I appreciate it, but I know how to take care of myself. Uh, I'm sorry. I, I didn't mean to offend you. Part of my job is worrying about others. I just meant... Hold on. You believe him? About what? Faye. Yes. <laughs> no. You're certain Faye isn't a figment of a writer's, uh, a psychopath's imagination? I'm not interfering in your job, Sheriff. Don't interfere in mine. Throughout my career, I've met a great deal of psychopaths. And believe me, when I know someone, I really know them. If there is a psychopath in this story, it's not Ed Miller. Then who is it then? We must find out who the psychopath is. Oh, okay. The wound. For certain psych psychopathies, self-mutilation is the gentlest form of violence. Okay. Oh, okay. So Faye broke her own ankle. Okay. Okie dokie. Well, we already know that she's a fan. I mean, I ummed and ahed and wondered when we first met Faye if this was some sort of elaborate way of meeting her idol. And it really would seem that way. <laughs> so, okay. So 6A, as you can see, I'm guessing that whatever choices I made along the way has resulted in this. So whether or not that means Faye isn't always going to be real in every playthrough, I do not know. But it would certainly seem that we are getting some sort of divergent path due to my choices. So now my objectives are to choose Spile for him, whatever that means, <laughs> and get to his house. That first objective doesn't seem straightforward, but... uh. Oh, right. Okay, choose smile. Right. Let's... Let's do that, shall we? Yes. What does he... Him How come you didn't call an ambulance, Faye? I tried to, but oh. my battery died. So she's playing out this conversation ahead of time, practicing her answers. Uh, let's see, let's go with selfie two. Hmm, Faye has a very seductive smile, but would someone with such a messed up ankle look that happy? Very true, so we don't really want option four. She looks friggin nuts we'll go with three hmm look at poor Faye trying to smile despite the pain what kind of maniac wouldn't feel sorry for her okay we're gonna really really do a number on the ankle all right here we go Oh, that looks like it hurts a lot, Faye. Come in and I'll put some ice on you. <laughs> Who 
Okay, what what do we need to do now? It's quite funny how she's pre practicing the conversations because I can't remember what options I picked, but I don't think Nick Ed was particularly uh, forthcoming when she first rocked up on his doorstep. Well, she did that in his driveway and he didn't hear? <laughs> What a um, plebe. This is painfully slow. I suppose we should just poke our head through the window. And this is why having all glass exteriors is freaky. Okay, so we need to memorize his dining room, kitchen, bedroom, and office. Okay. Bit concerning. What end? What is this girl's game? Why are you looking at me that way, kitty? I stole your blanket, so now I'm the enemy, huh? <gasps> I often wondered what happened to the cat. Oh my god, why what why are these even options? <sighs> I don't want to do any of that. Thank you very much. Um Oh, I'm just going to Oh. <laughs> now this I am not happy about this, not one bit. Uh, something that doesn't make a mess, so we'll go with squeeze. <laughs> Not yet. But one day, kitty. <sighs> oh, that's a relief. Mr. Mysterious! You there? Have you eaten? I'm hungry. Should I come down and make you something? Something? My face. Is it any good? But I'll just make something myself, if you don't mind. Ah, yes, we need to take some sneaky photos of his kitchen now. My biggest concern now, as far as plot twists go, 
let's say she's roughly the same age as Ed, if not a bit younger. And given that she does look a bit like his mum, I am somewhat concerned that she might be Jenny. But I think that might just be a little bit too extreme in the weird department. Photos of his family, okay. A spoon. I don't know what we should be doing with spoons. Isn't she just a snooper? Okay, so we Emilio Salgari, the son of the Red Corsair. 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 Okay. And now, the photographs. Nice to meet you, Mrs. Miller. You have no idea how inspiring it is to see you in that cheap-ass slutty little outfit. Mr. Miller? What undertaker did you murder and steal that suit from? Okay, so find family photo objective complete. Now we need to do, oh, so 6B and 6C are, these are the other branching paths, okay. Wine glasses, we won't fill up the wine just yet. Let's uh, take a spoon and use it as a mirror. Yes, use it as a mirror, genius. One out of five on my list of things to make sure he delivers. But I'll need a more secure base of operations. What on earth is she talking about? She is actually jabbering utter nonsense. Mm, this wine is delicious, Faye. Plus, you won't hear me say it out loud, but it's making all my blood flow down into a certain part of my body. This girl is cray cray. We should have known. We should have suspected. Let's have some of that wine, no? Or not? So we'll take the wine glasses and hide them. Oh, right. I see what's happening here. Where's the ibuprofen? I find it quite concerning that Faye cannot carry more than one item at a time. It is making this segment a wee bit longer than necessary.
Something is missing. pour out the wine but I'm guessing we should be slipping a little something something into it but where is the something something is there not a medicine drawer in this darned kitchen Tell us, Patronus, where are... Uh... Faye, you in the kitchen? Just a minute, Mr. Mysterious. I'm getting changed. I still have things to do. Okay, of course you still have things to do. Ah, there's probably drugs in my bag. Because that just seems to be the sort of crazy girl I am. look sexy objective complete now let's take the pills out of the bag come on Faye pick up your bag This has taken a really dark turn, like much darker than I anticipated. I really was totally willing to believe that Faye was entirely f uh, made up in Ed's mind. My, my. I see what she means now by make sure he delivers. Oh my god! <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> right, I'm going to take a minute to observe my objectives once it lets me. Someone looks pleased. Am I interrupting a special moment? Huh? Consider it my way of saying thank you. And he fell for it hook, line, and sinker. Hmm. A toast? Look, Patronus is there, like, being his bodyguard. Like, don't do it, Ed, don't do it. My favorite one's missing. The son of the Black Corsair. Emilio Salgari, right? Do you like Ed Miller? You know what? Me and that guy have history. Huh. So, what kind of history? Oh, dear. Oh. Hmm. Right, the aftermath. Let's see. The bad kind. Right. I am going to leave it there because I have run over quite significantly compared to usual. 
and things are definitely getting juicy. So we've gotten to a point now where we don't actually know what happens. So while it's become a revelation that Faye is in fact real and a little bit nutty herself, the steps in which we took to get to this point, we knew vaguely, we knew that she was injured, we knew that she was going to sleep with Ed, but from here on out, it's all a bit of a mystery. So I'm going to leave it there for now. Hopefully um, you watching are enjoying this as much as I am. I'm very invested in this plot. I'm really keen to see how this all turns out. So if you have enjoyed this, be sure to give this video a thumbs up and I hope that you will return for the next part in this Vertigo adventure.